Hello everyone. Um, today we are going to we are going to learn how to create check constraints in Oracle. So, what is check constraint? Check constraint is actually a type of validations given in a particular field in a table. Suppose you want to uh, create a numeric field uh, and you want to put a validations of uh, reading uh, user cannot enter value less than ten thousand. Or you can create age validation that age cannot be greater than 70 or 80. So, regarding when creating check constant, we have to keep a few rules in mind. A check constant cannot be defined on a scale view. Uh, you cannot check, uh, add any check constant to an scale view. The check constant defined on a table must refer to only columns in that table. It cannot refer to columns in other tables. So it is only referred to at the column or field in a particular table in which you are creating the check constraint. It cannot, you cannot refer to any other table. Suppose uh, you are creating a table named X and you define a check constraint of a table or for a different table say Y. So you cannot do that. A check constraint cannot be included in a subquery. So in a subquery you cannot uh, include a check constraint. So today we will going to see how many types of way we can define a check constraint. <coughs> so this is the first uh, <coughs> method of creating a check constraint. So that is, uh, this is uh, we have used our create table statement where we have created a table known as employee. Uh, it contains EMP ID number four and EMP name target to fifty. Now in this way, uh, after that we have created, uh, this is the syntax, which is constraint, then the constraint name, here it is check EMP name, and then the clause is check, in within single bracket it is, now this is the condition given here, the condition is that you cannot enter EMP name in, in lower case, you have to always enter the EMP name in upper case. So checks it to whether the EMP name equal to upper EMP name. So <coughs> this is a one method where we can create check constraint like this. And there is another method where we directly uh, uh, just as, suppose EMP ID number uh, here it is in primary is mentioned. The EMP name varied to the hundred. Beside that, giving a space, you write check then the condition. So this is also another condition with the create table statement using create table statement, adding check constraint to a field or to a column. <coughs> so this is another way. Uh, so we will not use this one. This is uh, uh, this method is not used. Uh, better you use this one where you just add like constraint, constraint name, you check uh, into that in the condition. So uh, here is I have see I have added two constraint. One is uh, constraint check say check EMP name check that is EMP name equal to upper EMP name. Another constraint check EMP ID check EMP ID greater than zero. So th this is another constraint where EMP ID should be greater than zero. It should be a positive value. So now next one is alter table. Okay, after you create a table, suppose you uh, thought that you should add a um, business logic, okay, where you should add a check constant, which is not previously added during create table. So that syntax is alter table, table name, add constant, constant name, then check, then the condition, and disable is optional, you cannot, you can put disable, cannot, also you can exclude this disable option. So when you put disable option, the check constant is created, but but it is not enabled. Okay, since so by that that if you put any suppose you put uh, EMP name in lower case as you have shown you before. So if you put it in lower case, it will accept it because the check constant is disabled. So let us see an example. This is alter table employee add constant ch EMP name check. EMP name equal to upper EMP name, then disable. As, you, as, as I have told you, the disable keyword is optional. If you create a check constant using disable keyword, the constraint will be created, but the condition will be, not be enforced. 
the next point is how to drop a constraint. You want to remove the business any business logic, remove the validation. So you can also do that. The drop a check constraint. The syntax is alter table table name. Drop it's constraint name. Constraint then constraint name. So drop constraint is the key. It's actually the syntax. It is a command and then the constraint. The example uh, as I've said you alter table employee drop constraint chk mp name. The next one is enabling. As I told you, you have created the table um, or you have done an alter table syntax um, command in which you have set it disabled. Now you want to enable the constraint. So uh, it's simple alter table table name enable constraint constraint name alter table alter table employee enable constraint chk name so this is the same way if uh, you want to disable or enable constraint just do it like in alter table table name disable constraint constraint alter table employee disable constraint chk name so today i am going to show you everything of this uh, in my i am using tot for oracle 9.0 and I'll create a table with a constraint with this constraint and show you uh, test it and show you how it works. Welcome back. The first one is create table employee. I'm going to not going to make it too long. Primary key left limit two fifty Boom. constraint. I'm just writing it in capital so that you can understand it better. Constraint chk emp name and the condition is upper emp name. So let us add another constraint. Just copy this one and paste it. CHK EMP ID. EMP ID greater than zero. So let us execute it. Remove the comma from the last one. Extremely sorry, I have just not uh, forgot to put the check command. So it should be there check EMP name equal to upper name, upper EMP name, and check EMP ID greater than zero. So let us execute. So it's done. Now we will just insert into by values. Tell the command. Levels. So let us execute it. Okay. Employee values. Sorry. Values. Check constraint CSK MPID violated. Okay. So let us make it one and keep it Shufro. Uh, keep it in small case. Again, check EMP name violated. So first what we will do, we will just again make it minus 1. I will not make it both, make it wrong. So PHRO. CHK MPID filed it. Now make it smaller and make it positive. Violated. So now I'll just make it so that both of them are validating the constraint. So it is there. Let us say select star from employee. Okay, it's done. So now what we will do, we will just do a alter table. 
so we will drop the constraint okay so alter table imply drop constraints constraint chk emp name Uh, I've got the constraint uh, CHK MP ID, so let us try once again. Minus two. Okay, so it's working. Minus two is taken. So we will again add the constraint. Add constraint CHK MP ID. So this is the um, condition, so add constraint, constraint name, check name, name, the condition, then you can put this at add constraint, constraint name, check name, name, uh, oh no, we are using name, id, name, id, present zero, disable. Okay, so I just uh, put the bracket here. It is not working. So now the disable uh, created the added the constraint but disabled it. Now again, just roll back this one. So again, we are still taking because the constraint is disabled. Now we will just enable it. So uh, whatever that we do, we will use this command as alter table table employee enable constraint chk will be id definitely it will not work can you guess why why it is not working because the validation the constraint which is actually um, this validation this minus two when you when oracle is going to enable the constraint it is checking the table with the data and it's finding there is negative data which is validating the rule of the constraint so let us just roll back this and see if there is any data or not okay so let us delete this one delete from play so commit so again check whether any data is there not no data now we can continue with this one so now it is enabled now we just again do this violate it so in the same way you can disable the constraint disable it again try to insert this select start from employee again minus two can we enable it it will again give an error because data is there so after we roll back can you say uh, we have not committed the data and when we uh, when we ch just to roll back so data is it's already there. Data is auto committed. Why it is? Because we have uh, uh, executed a DDL command which is actually auto commit. And this auto commit always also all, uh, implemented in DML also. If there is any DML command run after you uh, run a DDL command, so it, uh, your DML is also executed, it's also committed. So again, we delete it commit enable so uh, this is all about let us uh, check 
from the beginning. So using a creative statement, uh, constant, constant norm, check, condition, uh, you can also check your condition there, decide it. You can put uh, multiple constant, uh, add multiple constant within a table for different column. Okay, depending on the condition. And this is the alter table, adding constant. Oh, okay, this is an example. Uh, this is alter table, drop constant. Enabling constant and disabling constant. So this, this is all about um, check, check constant in Oracle. So you can press the like button to subscribe to my channel. So that's all for this one. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.